We can't be so busy competing with one another that we forget the competition that we have with the rest of the world to win the 21st century. Secretary Blinken can tell you, I spent a lot of time with President Xi. Traveled over 17,000 miles with him. Spent, they tell me, over 24 hours in private discussions with him. When he called to congratulate him, we had a two-hour discussion. He's deadly earnest about becoming the most significant, consequential nation in the world. He and others, autocrats, think that democracy can't compete in the 21st century with autocracies, because it takes too long to get consensus. To win that competition for the future, in my view, we also need to make a once-in-a-generation investment in our families and our children. That's why I've introduced the American Families Plan tonight which addresses four of the biggest challenges facing American families and, in turn, America. First is access to good education. When this nation made 12 years of public education universal in the last century, it made us the best educated, best prepared nation in the world. It's, I believe, the overwhelming reason that propelled us to where we got in the 21st, in the 20th century. But the world's caught up or catching up. They're not waiting. I would say parenthetically, if we were sitting down, we set a bipartisan committee together and said, OK, we're going to decide what we do in terms of government providing for free education. I wonder whether we'd think, as we did in the 20th century, that 12 years is enough in the 21st century. I doubt it. 12 years is no longer enough today to compete with the rest of the world in the 21st century. That's why my American Families Plan guarantees four additional years of public education for every person in America, starting as early as we can. The great universities in this country have conducted studies of the last 10 years. It shows that adding two years of universal high-quality preschool for every three-year-old and four-year-old, no matter what background they come from, puts them in a position to be able to compete all the way through 12 years and increases exponentially their prospect of graduating and going on beyond graduation. The research shows when a young child goes to school, not daycare, they're far more likely to graduate from high school and go to college or something after high school. When you add two years of free community college on top of that, you begin to change the dynamic. We can do that. And we'll increase Pell Grants and invest in historical black colleges and universities, tribal colleges, minority-serving institutions. The reason is they don't have the endowments. But their students are just as capable of learning about cybersecurity, just as capable of learning about metallurgy, met all the things that are going on that provide those jobs of the future. Jill is a community college professor who teaches today as First Lady. She's long said, <laughs> she's long. If I've heard it once, I've heard it a thousand times. Joe, any country that out-educates us is going to out-compete us. She'll be deeply involved in leading this effort. Thank you, Joe.